Fintech is a leader in processing uh, electronic invoices and payments uh, for the alcoholic beverage industry. We take the electronic invoices from alcoholic beverage distributors, which include all the line item detail, transform it into a common format, and then convert it to a retailer-specific data format. At the same time, we validate um, all the payment terms for these invoices, as uh, alcohol payments uh, have different um, payment terms that vary in all 50 states. And we move that money from the retailer's bank account to the distributor's bank account through the Federal Reserve Automated Clearinghouse System. Um, over 60,000 invoices are processed each day through this system. And um, that process that I described um, um, happens with all 60,000 of those invoices. We've recently adopted a project management framework known as Scrum. Um, it doesn't stand for anything, um, but it refers to the rugby term of a scrum when a group of players kind of huddle together um, during the gameplay. Um, it's a big paradigm shift where instead of thinking of the entire project, figuring out everything that needs to get done, and then adding up all that time to come up with a delivery or project completion date, um, the completion dates are predetermined, um, which are called sprints. Um, and these sprints last from two to four weeks, depending on the size or scope of the project as a whole. The team then gets together, breaks down the work into smaller pieces of functionality, which still provide solid business value. And they have a tangible deliverable at the end of this two to four week sprint period. In traditional project management, by the time a larger project um, gets delivered, business conditions may have changed and the deliverable um, could be already obsolete. So Scrum um, kind of formalizes the natural process that happens within businesses and uh, provides a guiding framework for managers to um, manage this process. The most important thing about the Scrum process, I think, is really that it forces communication and teamwork, which are ultimately the problems that cause most project failures. Um, I would say the favorite part is watching this company grow and get better every day. But personally, I think it's really just seeing people use the systems that I helped create.